Place your notebook bottom up with the hinge opposite you and remove the 11 screws from the lower case. It doesn't matter what order you remove the screws as long as you remove them all. Next, you need to insert a plastic pry tool beneath the rear exhaust and slide it across to release the clips. Once the clips are released, you can use your hands to gently pull up on each corner, releasing the rest of the clips that run down the sides of the notebook. Once released, lift up on the lower case to remove it and set it aside. Now, you need to disconnect the battery from the mainboard to remove power from the system. First, lift up on the tape that secures the cable in place. And then pull out on the cable to disconnect it. You should see the second M2 connector on the right side of the system, just above the battery cable. First, you need to remove the single screw that will hold the M2 drive in place. and then set it aside. Next, take your M2 drive and making sure that the connectors line up, insert it at an angle. It should go in easily without any need to force it. Now, press down gently to line it up with the screw hole and use the screw that you removed previously to secure it in place. Next, reconnect the battery to the mainboard to restore power to the system. and replace the tape to secure the cable in place. Now, place the lower case back on the system and secure it by pressing down to snap it back in place, making sure that there are no gaps. And then reinstall the 11 screws back into the system. If you have any questions, you can always visit the Acer community or our Acer support site.